all aircraft at Air Namibia remains grounded, meaning no business for the company. The aviation industry is going to lose more or less 113 billion US dollars by end of March. Now that figure is almost doubled to 220 billion as we speak. So if you ground your air, air, aircrafts, it means you have zero revenue generation. So there are now what we call the indirect impact associated to the operations of Air Namibia. And this indirect impact boils down to the supply chain. Despite the lack of revenue, the company says employees at the airline will still receive their salaries over a short term. Now we need to remodel again because if you look at the neighboring country, for example, South Africa, with the largest fleet, it's, it's, it's in a serious problem. So we are seeing opportunities in that area, in, in increasing frequencies, for example. For the past few weeks, business at Transkalahari also reduced with 60% due to the fact that certain commodities are not moving. A simple example, of course, the airlines are not flying, so they're not taking fuel. Nobody is driving, or almost nobody is driving uh, in country, so uh, the fuel, uh, is, uh, the volumes has moved down significantly over the past few weeks. Namport's acting chief executive officer, Kevin Harris, says the company remains operational, though affected by the pandemic as well. In terms of the land side operations, we have also seen quite some delays in the rate at which cargo comes into and out of the port. Uh, but uh, on the whole, we remain operational and uh, we're obviously prioritizing um, what we tend to be essential cargo. The Deputy Executive Director in the Works and Transport Ministry explains the process followed by trucks transporting essential products. It is a situation across the region that once a driver is screened, they are then allowed to move, to proceed and to deliver uh, the goods. The quarantining measures only kicks in, for instance, if, if someone is delivering goods between Namibia and South Africa, comes into Vinduk or Shakati, wherever they are delivering, and they have a day or two days before they undertake the next uh, trip. They are then uh, required to be quarantined for the period that they are here before they proceed. Evelyn Paulus, NBC News, Vinduk.